What's up YouTube? This is Trucker JBH3. I'm coming at you with another trucking video. Um, I know I came out with another video a few months ago uh, with a rail introduction. Um, uh, I'm sorry it took so long for me to come out with another video. I don't think I was quite ready yet to make another video on YouTube, but now I just feel the motivation, you know. I feel the motivation to make another video, period. It's my girlfriend. We're teaming. So I just want to give you an insight of my experience with rail transportation. I've been working with them for about six months, driving solo for almost five months, I think. Can't really keep up. Been driving, driving, driving. Um, but anyways, I'm going to cut to the chase. Um, rail transportation, great company, great training. Um, if you're going out there to get your, G, uh, your CDL, um, the GY CDL program is good. It's amazing. Um, it's a lot of things you're going to learn. Um, it's a lot of things you're going to see out there. Um, they're going to teach you a lot of things from, if you're going to Gary, um, from parallel parking and, and offset and all that good stuff. Um, most of the stuff you're going to learn on your own, but um, it's, it's not that hard. Don't, don't be intimidated by uh, the size of the truck and driving out there with all these crazy drivers. So, I went through the GYCDL um, at Gary, Indiana. Love it. Um, at that time, they had four weeks um, training course. So I did my four weeks there. Um, my trainer, my instructors was uh, um, Will and Derek, and there's another guy named Will as well. Um, there's pretty good instructors and they split us up in groups um, Pretty much we did what offset parallel parking um, Driving around Gary, Indiana Hammond, Indiana all that good stuff turning tight spaces, you know pretty much the general aspects of trying to learn how to drive a um, tractor trailer so my experience was pretty good um, after that I went into phase two um, I trained with uh, my trainer um, Justin I think his name was Justin pretty cool guy um, he pretty much kept everything real had me make my own little mistakes and all that stuff um, um, it's pretty pretty good experience I did I want to say three weeks of GD, G, I'm sorry, three weeks of phase two, phase two training, um, which was, wasn't too bad. Then I got my own truck. I went into the flatbed division. Um, flatbed was amazing. Um, I, you know, pretty much learned how to tarp and all that. When I got my first load, uh, whew, it took me just to strap and tarp my first load. And I, I was carrying some steel. It took me six hours. Don't laugh, okay? That will be you when you get there. But um, eventually, I start um, having my, you know, getting my own process down, my own methods. And six hours went from what two and a half hours of strapping and tarping. It all depends on the load. Sometime an hour and a half, so it's, it's not that bad. Um, I've been to New York, pretty much the East, West Wisconsin, Midwest, um, pretty much everywhere. I, I think I've covered 41 states so far, 42 states. Um, right now, um, I am currently teaming. Um, I got out of flatbed about two months ago, I want to say, or a month and a half ago. Um, I'm teaming with my girlfriend, Ayana subscribe she got a channel on Yana Moore and um, uh, now we're I'm a curtain side uh, I'm in the curtain side division so curtain side is not bad it's pretty good um, less labor but still you still have to uh, you know strive make sure you got everything um, secure right um, but less labor climbing on loads trying to tarp um, so I, I, I like it. I like curtain side. 
Um, mainly we go out west. Right now we're in Evansville, uh, Wyoming. And um, we're heading to Bloomington, California, which is uh, outside of San Bernardino and probably a couple of hours from Los Angeles. Right now we're carrying some, um, some steel beams and we're taking it to a Amazon location. Um, it's probably a new uh, job site that's uh, Amazon that's being built. Um, but I'm gonna tell you guys, if you're thinking about getting into trucking, um, it's, it's a different lifestyle. My last job, I was a project manager um, on the contract, uh, the business partner division for Comcast, and I traveled a lot. Um, I was a traveling tech before I became a project manager, and um, I travel a lot. So I'm so I'm used to traveling different places, but big difference with this career, I'm driving most of the time. Um, driving a big a big truck and it's not hard um you stay focused get some sleep get some rest um don't let things out there intimidate you don't let it intimidate you at all um you're gonna run into a lot of pressure out there but you'll get used to it once you're out there um i've driven in a lot of winter um, weather, um, it's it's pretty challenging. Um, we, me and my girlfriend, we driven in uh, you know ice, um, snow. I mean, every a, a lot of stuff, man. Um, but it's it's not hard. Um, you just gotta stay focused. So, um, guys. If you have any questions, comment uh, on the video for any questions. Um, I'm glad to answer it. Um, but stay tuned for other videos. I am going to upload more videos to come, and um, I'm gonna pretty much go to. Dip, I'm pretty much make videos, uh, um, shippers and constantly what to expect, what to look for. Just so when y'all go out there and y'all go into these shippers and constantes, um, you can kind of get a, uh, um, you know, you can kind of get a general uh, look of what to look for when uh, you're out there. So um, just comment and subscribe. Guys, I want to take you out there on this road. Subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And I will promise I will definitely keep on making videos that's more helpful for you guys out there. Alright, so stay tuned. Peace.